everyone, I wanted to do a short product review on two Cream of Nature products that I received from the Curls Over Brunch event. I just finished doing a wash and go using the Cream of Nature Argon Oil Purelicious Co-Wash Cleansing Conditioner. It's uh, for natural hair, it's also sulfate free and color safe. It's a 12 ounce size bottle, so I think it's a pretty good size. And it's also free of parabens, mineral oil, and petroleum. It states on the bottle that it's not going to cause frizz, shrinkage, or dryness, but that's not really my concern when I'm washing my hair. It's more of a styling issue that I might have from time to time. Um, I want to point out that this is the only thing I use to wash and condition my hair. And the first thing that I noticed was the scent. It's kind of like a masculine scent, like a cologne. Um, it's definitely not fruity, and it's kind of clean, but I don't know. It's it's not too overwhelming I guess overall. The second thing I noticed about this is the consistency. It's very much like a thick buttery conditioner and I knew I was going to like the way it felt in my hair. The only thing I'd say about it is that um, it took about 20 pumps um, to fully cleanse my scalp and hair and I just think it's the way that the pump is designed. I don't think a lot of product comes out per pump so you're just doing it more often. Otherwise it's fine. I found it was easy to detangle and most surprising to me was that it felt really clean after I used it. Not that it shouldn't, but normally with the cleansing conditioner it does have a little bit more of that slip factor. I don't find that it does have that slip factor. It's a little bit more clean and squeaky. Um, still soft, but not, um, not as slippery as I normally like. I think in the future I might have to add on a conditioner just to get that slip feel. Moving on to the Argon Buttermilk. Um, this is also for natural hair and it says that it's going to instantly moisturize, define curls, control frizz with exotic shine. It definitely did all of those things for me. My hair is moisturized, the curls are more defined, um, there is like less frizz I guess and a lot of shine. Now normally in my wash and go routine I would use a lightweight leave-in conditioner spray, my thickening cream and my curl cream. Since I'm only using two products here, I was a little nervous on how it would turn out, but so far so good. Um, everything looks fine so far, it's just not 100% dry. I was nervous about the high percentage of shea butter in this product. I normally stay away from that because of my hair texture. It says to use this on damp or dry hair and to apply it from the roots down to the ends, but I know my hair and I know better than that. I applied it from the ends and whatever was left on my palms, I applied it to the rest of my hair up to the root. Um, and I think the fact that I did it like this, I had a better outcome. Had I done it the opposite way, I would have had curls that were more weighed down. As I'm reading the ingredients, there's a lot of oils in here. I mean, first it starts with shea butter, and then it has um, argon oil, it's got hydrogenated vegetable oil, coconut oil, macadamia oil, shea oil, olive oil, avocado oil, soybean oil, sunflower oil. That's a lot for my hair. I don't think that my hair can take that much. It just weighs it down if I add too many of these products into my hair, so that's why I use a very little amount. This also has that masculine cologne scent, and I think if your hair is thick and dense, you can get away with using a lot more of this product, but for my fine-haired curlies, try to stick to just a little tiny amount, maybe like the size of a quarter, and use it from the ends up to the root, and I think you'll be okay. I haven't shaken out these curls or fluffed them with a pick or anything, so I'm not sure what it's going to look like, and I am going to bed, so I think tomorrow I will post some pictures, or I will add it to this video so you can see what it looks like on the second day and get that idea of um, what kind of results you'll have from using this. Anyway, that's going to complete this product review. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other comments or questions, please just leave them down below. And as always, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Let's just see how it looks when I fluff it out. Definitely needed that. I like frizz a little bit.